So, you want to make a turret, but you don't know how to. Well, I'm here to show you how to. In Wyomoth, of course. So, for a turret, we'll need a few components, such as a gimbal facer, which should be here. Uh, right now, in Gmod, in the version that I have, it's a facer, but in Monitor's mod, it is gimbal facer. So, you get the model here. You can do R on the model to get the model. You place it. So that's done. You have a gimbal. You can place it over your base. Right here. And then in regular G mod, <coughs> modern one, you would use a tool called a uh, ball socket center. But I do not have that tool, sadly. Um, but you usually use it on. Um, the base and then the gimbal, just like this. But I uh, place uh, a rope just to indicate you of the link. Then we'll need a target finder. You can set the range if it targets players or not, uh, right here, or owner or NPCs. Then you can place it somewhere around here. Uh, it doesn't have to be here. Um, and then you will need an entity gate. There will be a thing called gate, and then there will be a bunch of folders over here in current carries mod. Just search for position. Gates in this version are huge for some reason. Then you can place it. Once that's done, use your wire tool. Uh, it should be around here. Yep. Entity to here, so position uh, gate to target finder, and then um, you will need some sort of decompiler because the position that we get right now is um, a vector and not individual values, which is what we need for this because it only um, takes x, y, z singular numbers and not one big number like a vector. Um, so, vector will need a decompose. Let's place it somewhere here. Grab your trusty wire tool. Take this onto here. Now you can... So, um, um, a vector from decompose to a position gate, then you wire uh, the gimbal XYZ onto the coordinates of the decomposed gate. Once that's done, um, you will need a button to turn on and off your turret. Like so. There you go. Now we'll point at zero, zero. Um, you can place a turret over here um, to shoot at things, of course. Then you will need a ranger, which should be around here. Place it uh, near the gun. Important to have the um, output entity plus ent ID um, output, or else uh, the following will not work. So then you get the. F um, you have to get a gate in, uh, entity. Is NPC place it wire advanced and then you wire the um, is NPC gate onto the ranger and then return the onto the is NPC gate. So now this thing will target at NPCs. This thing will target at NPCs in case you haven't heard over the gunshots. Um, that 
to fix this, uh, we will need a constant value. Basically, we'll make some sort of offset. Um, the turret will aim a bit higher. So we will need not only a, a constant value. Um, I put a value of 45, but 35 works fine, or 30 works fine. This 45 is pretty decent. It aims at the torso-ish, which is better than the feet. Do not quote me on that. Um, then you will need an add gate. I'll place it right over here. You will need to to add this oh wait all right i am back so now um we need to wire with the add gate constant value of 45 or whatever offset you want and then the um z axis of the decompose gate now we we'll have to wire onto the gimbal from Z onto the Z on the onto the Z, sorry, to the add gate. Once that's done, it will aim a bit higher. As you can see, it aims more for the neck. Only downside with this is that it won't be able to shoot at head crabs. But head crabs are usually pretty easy to deal with. So this is it for our tutorial. Here we have a fully functional turret that doesn't shoot at players. Um, if you have any difficulties, you can just tell me in the comments or if I send this to friends um, directly. And uh, don't kill too many people with it, please. Bye-bye.